information about this, the first thing I would have to do is brainstorm all the variables that could have an effect on how long the reaction happens. Make sense? Think you could do that? Good, because if you have a look, we've got the rate of chemical reaction investigation up here. Now, um, you're going to log on and you've got a new, because it's a new one, a new map ID. So I would like you all to hop onto group map if you know how long it takes to react. So the temperature of the liquid is a great one. <laughs> and they're good options, aren't they? Oh, no. Three, two, one, and so Beautiful. The next bunch that we've got is you come up with so many great ideas, and the way that we had it set up was that you can add all your ideas in individually so that you couldn't, um, so we didn't have it working all together. So as you can see on here, we have that. Somebody's mentioned the room temperature, someone's mentioned the temperature of the cup. So what is a good idea to have a look at is that we can group, start grouping them together. So the ideas that are similar, if you go up to the next have along, which so at the moment you should be in brainstorm, if you go along to group, what we can now go through and start suggesting to us ideas of the, of the groups and the ideas that you think are similar. So if you What's the point of changing a variable? What's the point of changing variables? We had to brainstorm about the variables that we were including in the investigation. Um, and then what happened is you put your own variables in and then we grouped the ideas. So you could, um, so like everyone would say the same one, but not all of them. So then you could group them in one. So there's was other groups for like the type of the container and the size of the container. Oh, I find it really easy. Um, um, easier than um, using paper. It's faster um, and it's just more easy to use, like having pictures on it and getting projects and works done. I think it's um, much easier than doing on, pa on paper. And okay, I think cool. it's um, more fun for the students yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, much easier like, working with others because like, I'm not that good working by myself. Um, I like how when you can, you can um, share ideas so that you can learn more and I like group map because it's really uh, we listen from others from other people's point of view and we learn from because uh, we might learn something from them and that we didn't know and like they could be more descriptive than us so um, I like group map because it lets everyone have like a voice so that not the people who always have their hands up always get chosen. <laughs> it actually helps me improve on my answer because I, I would have gone like, oh, I would have never thought of that before. And it's just really useful. I like how you can see your peers' answers because then I see some answers that I'd never think of. So it helped me like improve on my learning.